All right, question and answer time for tonight. Who's got to question and just, uh, yeah, Mo. What's a show that went too far? Or tell me about a time where a show went too far. Too far? Oh, well, I can tell you about one. You decide whether it's too far. Okay, because I'm not a big believer in censorship. Like I said before, I don't want to hear about rape, pedophilia, murder, and stuff from the point of view of the predator, right? But I've had all those subjects uh, in my classes as comedy routines from the point of view of the victims, so I'm not big into censorship. Uh, the only place where I do that is what they call clear and present danger, which is, you know, if you go, I'm going to kick your ass, and you threaten somebody, that's clear and present danger, and I, I you know... But the Constitution supports that, so <laughs> and the point of free speech. I'm not big on, on that. So here's the one that, that really always kind of sticks out to me. A guy came and told me the idea, and I went, no, just put it up. I just, just put it up. So he came in the next week, okay, with a naked little baby doll, completely naked, and then covered with blood-red... Uh, uh, fingernail polish all over it, just blood red, blood, these, these eyes, you know, the ones that kind of wiggle around and stuff, pasted on it. And then he had a wire hanger around its neck. Uh, so, and he used that wire hanger also as, 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 so he could hold it. And he did a ventriloquist act with an aborted fetus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't remember much of the show. Uh, <laughs> um, but the one thing I did was he was Binky. This is Binky. Hi, Binky. Hi, how are you? Bad, very bad ventriloquist. He didn't even try. Yeah. And you want to do some riffing, Binky? Yes, I would. Hello there, sir. Are you my dad? Are you my dad? <laughs> Shoving in the guy's face, screaming at him. <laughs> now, I had to put him at the end of the show. <laughs> because I knew, and this is exactly what happened, and I really mean this, half the audience got up and walked out. And the other half pounded the table, foreheads hit the table, drinks spilled because they were laughing so hard, screamed, crying, they were just, you know, they just thought it was the funniest thing they had ever seen in their entire lives. These people were just howling for the whole three minutes that he did that particular piece, okay? And that's okay with me. That was a, That's an okay show with me, because I'm one of those that was laughing. <laughs> Uh, you know, I thought it was hysterical, uh, but it, it crossed that hurt line for a lot of people. And after the show, some old, 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 old lady came up to me and said, Well, how could you let something like that be so offensive in one of your shows? <laughs> I said, well, first of all, we got this little thing uh, called the Constitution. <laughs> you know, and so, uh, yeah, and uh, you have a right to be offended, and you have a right to tell me you're offended. So I hear you. I hear you're offended. Oh, Robert is uh, right over there at the bar. Uh, go over and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> and she did. And you saw him talking back and forth. Pretty soon he's buying her a drink and they're sitting down and chatting. He's the nicest guy in the world. He's a really sweet guy. He just kind of had a sick sense of humor. So the idea here is, is don't let anybody else tell you what you can and cannot perform. Because if uh, Andrew Dice Clay had listened to people, if Andy Kaufman had listened to people, if Sam Kinison had listened to people, who, you know, Sam, I knew Sam fairly well, performed a lot at the Westwood Comedy Store. I don't know how many people told me, you, you shouldn't shout at an audience. <laughs> he didn't listen to them. Andy Kaufman did his stuff, you know, Dice Clay. All the, these people came up with something really original, and, and, and they had their own audience. They have the audience that love them, and the audience that doesn't love them. Well, grow up. That's going to happen. So, do not let anybody tell you your stuff goes too far. The answer is always between you and the audience laughing.